Hello and welcome back. So this is continuation of Joomla 2.5 training. This is lesson 4. In this we will understand Joomla frontend. Just a quick note to viewers and participants. You can do a quick reading yourself. Let's proceed. The agenda in this is basic navigation in Joomla frontend and exploring the sample data. All right. Specifically, we'll explore Joomla frontend for all these items. So let's start one by one, starting with articles. So let's go to Joomla frontend. Here, this is my Joomla frontend. Okay. Now articles. What are articles? Articles are nothing but your actual contents of a Joomla website. So this is an article in itself. Okay. This is second article. This is third article. Like that. The actual content of the Joomla website is nothing but articles. You can take it something like uh, how to say, take an example of a book. Okay. In a book, let's go, let's go to Google. Let me give you a very precise example. Okay. And can see books I say book say some book project management I'll just open uh, some book as an example what I want to show you is a few things in the book now as you would see let's scroll down contents of the or the actual wordings in a book is what you call as an article here yeah. so these things okay, let me just go to a place wherein this is starting hold on man yeah so this one as you could see this could be an article article number 2.4 it says project management it gives some something 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 and then this article ends and then you will have another article look this is another article that's starting so like that you can have multiple articles okay in your website just your website is just like a book as simple as that so you've got multiple articles so let's go back so this is say article 1 article 2 article 3 and then many other articles okay say for instance you go here Joomla project this is another article okay but that's what is nothing but articles so let's go back the next thing is pictures pictures are nothing but a synonym for images okay what's a picture this is a picture in itself right I would say Joomla this one is a picture okay uh, let me go to some sample site that comes with the sample data okay so you've got go to parks out here parks home look this is another picture right go to image gallery shows me a couple of other images animals these are pictures okay so the pictures that you loaded on your Joomla website the picture could be loaded in a gallery like this or a pictures could be associated as a part of an article so this is an article on top of that there is a picture so that's what our pictures or images in your website login go back to home what's login login is I, I believe it should be synonymous to you say for instance you go to yahoo.com mail.yahoo.com when you log in for checking your mails what comes up is the user and password uh, form that comes up right you enter your user and password your credentials that's what you call it as a login form so in this case also Joomla provides you a login basic login form so in this case if you see out here on the left side you've got a link out here say login hit on this and that's what is your login form right 
a username and password that's what is login and it contains the Joomla provides basic functionality forgot your password forgot username and don't have an account for you to create a new account so say for instance I don't have an account you can quickly create a new account and hit on the register that's what you do it for any website is it not uh, so that's what is login functionality top menu let me just go hold on this is this could be you can call it as a top menu but there is a subtle difference between top menu and main menu okay what I'll do it is I'll take you to my company website and I'll show you that as an example say my company website is aclnz.com let it load okay it's loading so that's my company website okay now as you would see this one on the top I would call this as a top menu okay it's got some links in that so I would call this as a part of my top menu okay now there could be there could be different ways a top menu could be described but my opinion is in my honest opinion this could be called as a top menu because it's on top of the page okay then main menu what's a main menu this is a main menu the main menu of my website okay this is my main menu okay menu is something that helps you to navigate in a website okay then comes side menu in this website I don't think you have got a side menu at all so I believe <coughs> you've got that in Joomla so this is side menu in Joomla okay on the left side a side menu could be on the left side or it could be on this right side as the side wording says okay then comes formatting so formatting is nothing but formatting an article so you can format this so for example this is bold and this is regular font okay what I want to do it is say for instance I want to format this this first line into italics that you can do through Joomla backend for that you need to go to the Joomla backend so I go here and I go to the menu now I will explain you all these things in detail a little while later but as of now okay I go to the article say any article so what it starts with Joomla hold on let's do one thing let's modify this article the second one it says beginners right I just found that so to be quick say where is where is it starting the article title is beginners and it says if this is not so let's make this italics if you want to do that simply select this and if you see on the top make it italic and then save it as soon as you save it it says article successfully saved and you can see the changes out here look it changed right that's what you have done it make, made it italics so that's what you call it formatting to change the look and feel of your article okay you make it bold or you can make it colorful or you can add any kind of formatting that you can think of all right so that leads me to go back to my presentation so let's see what's the next step so we covered all this so it leads me to the end of this class so this class was to explore the front end so thank you very much for your time and in the next class we will see and explore the components or we will understand and navigate through the backend thank you very much for your time goodbye